Hello and welcome. My name is George Lakek. The one and only. And this is my channel. Well, I've been under the weather for the past five days or so. You can probably hear it. You know, my voice isn't quite what it what it normally is. Uh, so, yeah, it's, it's affected the making of the videos and I'm a little bit behind with everything, but I'm well on the way to getting back to normal. However, I thought this was a good opportunity to show you a little bit of behind the scenes. Today I'm showing you what the studio looks like when there is no green screen magic. So this is uh, our studio, this Barbara and I share this. Uh, she is a native artist, as you may already know. <laughs> I'm just a handyman YouTuber, but a lot of times I have videos that are scripted and the script is sometimes too long for me to remember and I make it a point to, to make sure that whatever the important elements of my, my script are, they have to be in the video. So I script it and I have a way of making sure that I read the entire script. Yes, I read it. And I'm going to show you the equipment that I use for it. Let's have a look. See what you see there. There's my Sony camera is uh, screwed onto what looks like a wooden box. Now you can see these two umbrellas here. They diffuse the light that goes on the green screen. Now with the green screen as a background there, I'm right in front of the green screen now. See how evenly this is lit. Now it's very easy for me to be just about anywhere I want. So Sometimes I make up a, a studio setting that uh, I think is appropriate for whatever video I'm uh, recording. Other times I pretend like uh, I used to do that a lot with the bicycle touring videos. I pretend like I'm in a location that is subject of the video. So boom, see? Boom. Boom. It's very easy to change out the background and by now I've got it down to uh, like the process is so good that you could probably believe it. The more effort I put into it, I could put uh, like a, a video in the background where I blur it a little bit and it'll actually look like I'm there. The Final Cut Pro has a very good setting for green screen videos and that's mostly what I've been using. Now I'm going to show you the other side of the wooden box that you saw. See what this is? This is an iPad you see there. And everything you see on there, it's in a mirror image. But when I flip up the camera, you can see my script. This was a script that I did days ago for my other channel. It's called The One and uh, it's all about drones. I started this channel to have a professional outlet for my drone activities. Drones are now a big part of my business, even though I haven't really had any major paid gigs uh, with my drones, but I have over 500 clips on uh, Pond5 that you can download for a small fee. There's a link in the description. And if you're a YouTuber or you simply uh, need some video footage for, say, a documentary that you're working on, whatever, uh, I would appreciate if you check out my stuff because I think, personally, I think it's been getting better. I'm, I'm putting a lot of effort into this. But also what you can do, you can send me suggestions of uh, what you'd like to see on there if uh, you have any needs for aerial footage because that's what I do. I have two drones. I do aerial footage. That's where my passion is regarding videos at the moment besides making these YouTube videos which I've enjoyed from day one and uh, I will continue to do so on both channels. Now I wanted to ask you guys something also. See, I've been approached, and this is not the first time this happened, but the first time 
it was just m small little items that were sent to me basically for like I was reimbursed for them. They weren't sent for free. I had to actually purchase them and then send a screenshot. And so I would get reimbursed. There was a pouch for your phone, a waterproof pouch. So you could take underwater movies with your phone. There was another one that was a microphone that um, is wireless, works with your cell phone, which was so so it was half decent but you know what happens all the stuff is basically kicking around not getting any use and it's really not that valuable so you know i've i've been, I've been using it on occasion but uh, really it's not top notch stuff but i've been approached by a company that uh, wants me to promote or do a video about their hidden camera the camera is something you plug into the socket and then you have a couple of USB charging ports. You also have, I believe, four regular outlets. And then there's a small little camera that you may not know is there. So if somebody was to walk into my house and I have this on, so then I can see what they're doing. I can see what's going on. Now I've been asked to order this on Amazon and then uh, like before, send them a screenshot and then they reimburse me. Now these are people I've, I've never dealt with before. I believe they're probably uh, truthful, but it, you just really never know because I, I don't know who these people are. So then the question pops up, is this even, does, is this even a fit for my channel? Are you guys even interested? This would be a, a kind of security camera that is hidden as some kind of outlet. I think personally, I think it'd be interesting. I think it'd be interesting to run a test with it too when we're not at the house, you know, to check out what's going on in the house, if there's anything interesting or whatever. But I'm really not sure. Like, should I bother with this or should I just continue with... Like, they're, the first email they sent, they said they were offering me an attractive budget. Now, the second email, they want me to order something on Amazon. See, like, I don't know. Is this even legit? Is this just a, a way to, to get me to purchase this and get their name out there? And they're not paying me zilch and I have another item kicking around the house that may or may not be useful here. So you let me know. Is this something you'd be interested in? I don't even know what this thing is called. I'll try to get a a link so you can see what this is. Like uh, you know I'm not I have no problem with uh, showing this. And then you let me know. Let me know in the comments. Uh, is this something you'd want to see on this channel? Now I want to see how I uh actually read my script on uh <laughs> on on the the teleprompter all right here it goes hello and welcome my name is george schlackig and this is the one christmas is the one time of the year when many of us spend money on new gear whether it's for ourselves or a loved one see and it's not enough just to read it you actually have to practice this several times so that you can make the expressions that go with the video and uh, when I first started doing this being a new youtuber this was very hard to do so it takes a lot of practice and now my channel has grown to over 2,000 subscribers which I thank all of you for because you you're likely a subscriber if you're seeing that and yeah I'm looking ahead at 2024 full of optimism want to uh, grow the channel more I have exciting ideas that uh, I'm going to share when when the time comes like you never know what's actually going to materialize or not but it all depends on how much time I get to spend on on the YouTube channels and um, you know if it's going to start generating a little bit more income than it has in the past so that uh I don't have to take as many handyman calls. I mean, 
I enjoy both, to be honest, but the, the one I enjoy the most is uh, YouTube. <laughs> so that's why I'm still here. You know, if it was just for the money, I'd be gone a long time ago. But thanks to you guys, it's always been a pleasure to be here. And I really hope this is going to go on long term. So thanks again for staying with me throughout 2023. All your comments, all your likes, it all matters. Keep it up. So I'll see you in the next video.